The Sengoku Jidai was a time of war, but those who say Japan has never seen the like have short memories. Long before the Ashikaga Shogunate, 400 years of peace were shattered by the Genpei War. Amaterasu, the sun goddess, watched over the emperors of Japan and gave them power. Their authority was absolute. An emperor could retire from the world and still have complete mastery over Japan. But now, imperial might is crumbling, weakened by three noble families. For many years, the Taira have secretly controlled the imperial court. Sophisticated, cunning, ruthless, they plot against any challenges to their hidden power. The Minamoto are proud warriors. Their pleasure is battle. That and the destruction of their enemies. The Fujiwara were once the most powerful family in Japan, but now, they only dream of power. After years of careful planning, the Taira are finally ready to make their move. The Miyamoto intend to block with all their might. Meanwhile, the Fujiwara watch and wait. Perhaps this moment is a chance to right wrongs. The Imperial Peace is at an end. War is coming, and blood will flow. We are the Tyra. Our superior strategy, both martial and political, has enabled us to assume almost total control of the realm ousting the feeble Fujiwara regime of old and subjugating our Minamoto rivals in the process. However, the Minamoto are returning in strength and with confidence. Conflict with the Minamoto may also leave us open to a Fujiwara invasion. They will not have forgotten who orchestrated their fall from power and will stop at nothing to see the old ways restored. Now, more than ever, we must be vigilant. The Tyra will prevail. Howdy, my noble, honorable friends. Sir Kakababu is back after a very long time. Gentlemen, it was one hell of a delay, and sometimes. In a person's life, things happen which are unavoidable. Such a thing uh, happened to me as well. As some of you might know, I have four brothers. I am the youngest, uh, which is number fourth, right? So, brother number three, who lives in Canada, is visiting us uh, these days. And uh, on top of that, brother number one, who lives in another city, who is in the military, he was here as well. So, uh, the brother number one has two kids, brother number three has one kid, and brother number two has one kid as well, although he lives in the same city and uh, he has a, his own house. But anyways, brother number one and three were here. Uh, my uh, house was full of kids, full of people. And I had no chance of uh, recording anything, let alone, uh, I, I, in fact, I would say I didn't even touch my computer for two weeks. The goddamn kids really took over my life. And uh, now, hopefully, in fact, thankfully, brother number one has left. And uh, brother number three, along with my parents and his wife and uh, kid, have gone to my native village and now I am home alone. Which means 
it is time for some serious gaming and uh, to start off that serious gaming i have decided to do this uh, new let's play of shogun 2 rise of the samurai uh, on march 23rd the shogun 2 fall of the samurai is coming out so in anticipation of that uh, expansion pack i would say in that game because it has it is a really vast uh, and different game but anyways so in, in in anticipation of that game i've decided to do this which would complete my shogun 2 uh, i would say shogun 2 series right i've done one shogun 2 let's play now i'm doing this rise of the samurai and when the fall of the samurai comes out and i have pre-ordered it i would do a let's play of it immediately maybe a cooperative multiplayer let's play with strategy 002 who knows so a lot of good things are coming up right i have started this game as a uh, yasima taira and uh, the game difficulty is on normal the campaign length is domination so you guys would be uh, seeing a lot of uh, shogun 2 activity gentlemen and we would take care of uh, all of japan and conquer it first my as i showed you guys earlier in the overview video i played as fujiwara uh, fujiwara whatever and uh, so i decided uh, this yasima taira would be a good choice so let us begin our epic new let's play noble partners and let's look at our situation in fact let me save first in the solid slot where is the solid slot jasima tara okay and let us look at our diplomacy and uh, no First, let me look at my clan situation. This dude. Oh no. My uh, daimyo is 50 years old. Fuck. Man, he's already dead, I guess. I guess I should adopt him. Uh, okay, he would come of age pretty soon, so I would let him remain the heir and then develop him as my frontline general. Okay, and this dude uh, is 37 years old. Uh, okay, I'm going to let him, you know what, adopt, and uh, then I would marry him to some other clan okay let's find a wife for our general uh, sorry adopted son what is his name taira kaniyasu bitcher i'm going to find a pussy for you uh, let's look at the diplomacy now this is a different scene instead of religions they have uh, created clan influences so our clan's influence where is our clan whatever it's not mentioned here uh, our sister clan is fukuara taira uh, that is uh, the shogun's clan and ruling it and the other clans these ones have our influence as well Clans which are the of similar influence can be taken over by this uh, this unit Matsuke. I don't know what it is called. In this game, I will see. Welcome. I'm here. See to it later on. And to seek a worthy outcome to our discussion. Yeah. Okay. Military alliance. We should discuss matters of mutual interest. So that all may profit and flourish as a result. 
what about I give you 500 oh 500 oh fuck me okay for two turns and uh, yeah, okay now he is cool who has a daughter that I can marry no trade is important so let's do trade agreement welcome all around sino trade time and honor Oh. Welcome. I'm here to listen and to seek a worthy outcome Why to our is discussions. He not willing to trade with me, man. Again, two turns. Earlier on, when we have not. Uh, <clears throat> Expanded and uh, welcome. I'm here. Gone back on our treaties or something like that. Come to our discussions. It is easier to trade and uh, to do diplomacy, but later on it becomes a bit difficult. But diplomacy can be done. Welcome, noble friend. There is okay. It it, it can be done if one has uh, the money uh, to offer them, right? Because money is uh, superficial. Uh, anything else like uh, exchanging of hostages or uh, uh, doing a military alliance uh, with a faction you do not really want to do an alliance with or plan to stand behind them to protect them in case of war. That really. Uh, Earns you dishonor if you dishonor your treaty. So there is no point in uh, making alliances that much. You want just have to make yourself strong, and uh, so that you can stand against anyone on your own. And the vessels betray you as well. Even the sister clan Fukuara Taira would declare war on us when we reach that that threshold of infamy where is it clan fame right but anyways let's look at our uh, okay uh, what's his name jun jun sushi 